back in 1791, the arms that they were thinking of that Americans should have a right to bear were primarily like muskets. I was thinking about this in terms of another constitutional amendment issue, which was prohibition. The 18th Amendment started prohibition, and then it was changed by the 21st Amendment, which ended prohibition. It was problematic, and it was not working. So what can be done about the Second Amendment? Hey, Thomas, thanks for your question. You raise a lot of interesting points that I think are getting fresh attention since the mass shootings over the past weekend, and also by virtue of the fact that we're in a presidential contest. And every single one of the Democratic contenders, as articles have been pointing out, is sort of of the same view that things need to be done. Now, this point about taking literally the words the founders put into the Second Amendment of the Bill of Rights, if you want to take it literally, that it was meant to preserve and protect only the kinds of arms that were known to folks back in 1791, what people have suggested provocatively, well, that must mean necessarily that all those assault weapons and other modern firearms can easily be prohibited. But that's not how the Supreme Court has dealt with the issue. To me, what's really important right now is to do what is possible to be done. You have 90 plus percent of people in America who are supportive of universal background checks. You have 70 plus percent of people in America supportive of a gun registry or a 30-day waiting period, all of which have mass support and have had mass support for a very long time and maybe some impetus to do something about it. I just saw in the last couple of days more than one Republican who previously had a good NRA rating suggesting openness to some of these provisions. A constitutional amendment, though not impossible, is a very difficult thing to achieve. And I'm not saying one way or the other that it's a good idea. I mean, yeah, it's true that America decided to enact prohibition and decided to undo prohibition all in the space of a few years, but my God, we've had the Equal Rights Amendment pending for years and years and years now and can't get that done. And that seems a lot less controversial than doing something to the Second Amendment. It seems to me that there are a lot of common sense things we can do about which there is a lot of consensus and has been consensus for a long time. And they require simply passing some laws, not amending the Constitution. And let's start with that. Let's get that done. Let's get focused on that. Here's an email from listener Wendy Holtzman, who writes, I love your show. Thank you for helping keep America informed. I don't understand why the gun safety advocates in addressing the Second Amendment aren't